GST portal provides a simple to use offline utility that helps in uploading invoice data for preparing GSTR1 and GSTR2 returns. You need to connect to the internet only for uploading the file containing invoice details generated from offline utility to the GST portal. This video will help you to download and install this utility on your computer and understand its interface. Start by visiting the GST portal. Expand the Downloads menu. Click the Offline Utilities category and select the Returns Offline Utility option. This utility is available only for Microsoft Windows as of now. However, its Macintosh and Linux variants will be released soon. Click the download link and click Proceed to save the zip file on your computer. Extract the zip file to get a folder as shown. This folder contains a README text file that contains a list of do's and don'ts, the user manual, the templates, and an executable or .exe file for installation. The templates are in Microsoft Excel format, as well as in CSV format for entering the invoice and other related information. Ensure your system meets the requirements as listed in the README file. The user manual contains step-by-step -step instructions on using the offline utility. The executable file or the .exe file will install the offline utility on your computer. The utility allows you to import the invoice and other related data from the Excel or CSV format. The templates in these formats are already given here with sample data which you'll need to delete before entering your actual data. To begin installation, just double-click the offline tool executable or .exe file and follow the on-screen instructions. Just make sure to check the option to create a desktop icon. Once done, keep the two highlighted options checked and click Finish. The offline utility should now launch automatically after a few seconds. If it doesn't launch, double-click the newly created icon on your desktop. You will see three tabs on the top followed by a set of instructions for using them. Further below, you will find an overview section highlighting the main features of this utility and the application version number along with its date of release at the bottom.